The story of Moses. A long, long time ago in Egypt, there was a boy called Moses. Moses had fled Egypt after he intervened in a conflict between an Egyptian overseer and a Hebrew slave, resulting in the overseer's death. Fearing retribution from the Pharaoh, Moses sought refuge in the land of Midian, where he settled and became a shepherd. Kindly subscribe, like, and comment for more. One day, as Moses was tending to his flock near the mountain of God, he encountered a remarkable sight, a bush that burned with fire but was not consumed. Intrigued by this supernatural phenomenon, Moses approached the bush. As he drew near, a voice called out to him from within the flames, saying, Moses, Moses. Moses responded, Here I am. The voice identified itself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Moses' ancestors. God instructed Moses to remove his sandals, for the ground he stood on was holy. Then God revealed his plan to Moses to deliver the Israelites from their oppression in Egypt and lead them to the land promised to their forefathers. Moses was initially hesitant, feeling inadequate for such a monumental task. He questioned God, asking, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? But God reassured Moses, promising to be with him every step of the way. He revealed his divine name, saying, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also equipped Moses with signs to authenticate his authority, such as turning his staff into a snake and making his hand leprous and then healing it. Despite his doubts, Moses eventually accepted God's call and agreed to be his instrument in delivering the Israelites. Moses returned to Egypt with his brother Aaron, and they confronted Pharaoh, demanding the release of the Hebrew slaves. Through a series of ten devastating plagues, God demonstrated his power over the Egyptian gods and compelled Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. Finally, after the Passover, during which the firstborn of Egypt were slain, but the Israelites were spared, Pharaoh relented, and the Israelites were freed from bondage. Led by Moses, they began their journey through the wilderness toward the Promised Land, guided and protected by the mighty hand of God. After the Israelites left Egypt, Pharaoh had a change of heart and pursued them with his army, intending to bring them back into slavery. As the Israelites reached the shores of the Red Sea, they found themselves trapped between the sea and the advancing Egyptian army. Fear and despair gripped the Israelites as they saw no way to escape. In this dire situation, Moses, acting as God's chosen leader, remained steadfast in his faith. He reassured the Israelites, telling them to trust in God's deliverance. Then, following God's instructions, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused a strong east wind to blow all night, dividing the waters and creating a dry path through the midst of the sea. With the sea parted before them, the Israelites, estimated to be hundreds of thousands strong, walked across the sea on dry ground with walls of water on either side of them. It was a miraculous sight to behold as they made their way to safety on the opposite shore. Meanwhile, the Egyptian army, emboldened by the pursuit, followed the Israelites into the sea. But as they entered the midst of the parted waters, the wheels of their chariots became bogged down and chaos ensued. Then at God's command, Moses stretched out his hand again over the sea, and the waters returned to their normal state, engulfing the Egyptian army and drowning them all. Thus, through the faith and obedience of Moses, guided by the divine intervention of God, the Israelites were delivered from the clutches of their oppressors and began their journey toward the Promised Land. The crossing of the Red Sea stands as a powerful testament to God's faithfulness and his ability to rescue his people from seemingly impossible situations. These stories are to equip us in our journey of faith. According to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Study to show yourself approved unto God a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2, 15. Approved workmen are not ashamed, this is for us to know, to love, and to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome and please subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment.